Yeah, I think I messed up my brows. I was trying not to do it, and I messed it up. Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Faith, and this is the Faith Walks channel, where the pathways of faith are limitless. We are in a new year. I have new makeup. If you want to see what I got, then make sure you keep on watching. You know you want to. All right, y'all, I am back. I have new makeup. It's a new year. I have a fresh mindset, but what I need is a fresh wig. Somebody let me know what hairstyle should be next for me because I'm stuck. I don't know what it is. It's hard to find hair. I love to do my crochets, but you know, my earring coming on. But you know, it's it's hard to find hair to match. I think 16 matches me. No, 613, that's the color. Anyway, I'm talking to y'all like y'all here. Anyway, anybody got any hair ideas, let me know. If you haven't already, please like this video, comment, and subscribe so that you can be aware of every video that I'll be posting. I have more content for you guys, especially on all of my platforms. So please follow me on Facebook, um, Faith Walks. I'm going to be going live on my Faith Walks um, page on Facebook. So give that a like and um, subscribe to my live video so you know when I'm going live. I'm going to try to do that more often, just going live, you know doing makeup, doing the eyeshadow thing, practicing that, you know what I'm saying? But y'all, I got a lot of new makeup. I got NYX, I have their new um, primer. I just have a whole lot of new stuff. So we're gonna jump in and get started. I'm gonna start with a simple eyeshadow look. I'm gonna use the Natasha Denona palette that I got out of my BoxyCharm. And I'm also gonna use some new brushes. And I won this, these brushes in a giveaway. It's, it's Glow by Glory, their brush brand. But look at these, they, like, you see that? <laughs> um, some of them have hus Hustler on the inside. So yeah, I'm excited. Um, but we're gonna get started. I already did my eyebrows. I did it with makeup that I've already, I already have, I've used. So I didn't wanna, you know, be redundant. It's my own beauty you know, pencil that I love so much. And I'm going in with this pencil. They don't have names, but this is a set Glow by Glory. Go to their um, Instagram page. It's, um, I think, is it spelled out? No, it's G-L-O. Um, so make sure you check them out, G-L-O. And I have another um, brush set that I'm gonna be using for my, for my face, and it's the Moda brushes. But um, the Natasha Denona palette, I'm gonna use this one, because it's simple. And, um, ooh, what are we, we doing? Pumpkin spice and everything nice on it. I don't know. Should I do this brown? Like, this chocolate brown is calling my name. That one? Mm -mm, that one right there? That one right there, though. But the orange is, too. I'm going to do the chocolate brown. I know the first idea would normally be to, you know, oh. Y'all, this pigmentation is crazy. Pigmentation crazy. I, and I just wanted to do something simple because I'm not even wearing lashes. But real quick, I'm gonna tell y'all, I think I'm gonna blend it out with the orange. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, that's what we wanna do. And I'm gonna bring it up just over my crease. A natural crease but let me tell y'all so I canceled my boxy charm membership just like that because if I'm bored with your boxes after a couple and it's not that it was bad I think it's a good way to try new makeup if you haven't tried brands already but for me I just I came across a brand that um does black on makeup boxes and then also the um brand that does the eyeshadow palettes that I used for Christmas, that frankincense and myrrh palette that I used during the Christmas season, um, they are coming out with a box as well. And so I was like, I would love to try, I think Beam 
is the brand Bean, B-E-E-M, Bean Box. So, and this is just blending so nice too. Y'all see that? Just so yeah, the Bean Box is, it has black-owned products in it, and I was like, I would love to get a box full of black-owned makeup, you know, brands, and come maybe come across this stuff I've never even seen before. You know what I'm saying? And you know, I just try the usual stuff I've seen, brands I've heard of, and it's not that they, you know, Box of Charm didn't have anything unique or whatever, but I did the Lux Box and. It was just okay. It's not that it was bad. It was just, it's just okay, you know. She was just okay. But these are just gorgeous to have, aesthetic wise. So I'm gonna go in with the orange, right there. And I could do this pinkish, this mauvey color, but I just want to do the orange. Let me see it, how it'll do. I gotta do it on this side. I think the pink might have been better. So I'm just going to. Oh. Yes. I like it though. I think the pink will be. Not the pink, but the mauve. It's like an orangey pink color. It's peachy. Peachy color. I think I'm going to go in with the peachy color. Yeah, I'm gonna go in with the peachy color. Yeah. And I am gonna grab, I'm gonna grab this brush. It's big, but we're gonna go with it. And I'm, I didn't put nothing on it. I just wanna like, blow it out, blend it out, not be so precise. I like these brushes though so far. So what I'm gonna do is go back in with this chocolate brown and just re-intensify the chocolate tinnets of it. If you are hearing noise, I'm in a house and there is life in this house. There's life in this house. Oh, sorry, I just did it. <laughs> I went into this glimmer shade. And this is like vintage me. And when I say vintage, I mean when I first started posting, which it's very recent. <laughs> but I just went in with my finger. Y'all know I banged my finger, so it's looking pretty ugly. But for my birthday, which is January 19th, and I am gonna put nail on. Trying to let it heal. But this is pretty. Very nice. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with that brown, that brush with the brown, and I'm not even gonna add anything, but I am going to re-intensify the brown. And it's like a makeshift halo situation. Yeah, and then I might re-intensify that shimmer shade as well. Cause y'all, I'm just trying to do something simple. We ain't even try to do all that. We ain't even trying to do all that. I like this. Okay, so um, I kind of wish I had my pencil. Um, oh, I have another brush. It's not from the um palette I just used, but it's okay. I'm gonna go into this light shade right here. It looks very white, but it's more so cream, you know. And I'm going to put that on my brow bone. I really like this palette. I know Natasha did the palettes are known for being very, very expensive. So, ooh, I really love that shade for the brow bone though. It is cute. Okay, I'm back. Okay, so this is all I'm gonna do with the eyes right now. I'm gonna do my bottom lash line after, you know, I do the face. So, I have, the Moda Metallics brushes. And I have been wanting to try specifically those two types of brushes. 
So um, this one, the big one is for foundation, which we're about to do. And the foundation that I'm about to use is a foundation that I've used before, um, but I've never used it on camera. Now, before we do the foundation though, I primed the top of my face, but I didn't prime the um, bottom of my face. So I'm gonna go in with a new primer. It's the NYX Marshmallow Primer, okay? NYX Marshmallow. And it just has a lot of claims. The NYX Marshmallow Primer has a marshmallow root in it. It's supposed to make um, your makeup smooth. It's supposed to hydrate, um, smooth out even your tone. You're supposed to be able to wear it with or without foundation. Um, it, it makes you look less textured and, you know, just hydrate. I think I say it hydrates, but all that kind of stuff. It just has was 10 claims or something. But the part about it that I don't like is none of them are on the bottom. But that's what it does. So I'm gonna have to one day test what um, the longevity of it, because I have oily skin, will it be able to help me out? But I'm just gonna, I showed you, I didn't show y'all what it looked like, but, but that is what it looks like a cream consistency and y'all know I normally when it's warmer I set my face with a powder you know before I go in with my foundation after the primer but um I know it looks like I'm rubbing so hard for free but um yeah I could definitely see this as a moisturizing like if you want to add this to your routine like a moisturizing serum or something okay and then I'm just gonna set it with my Gerard Cosmetic Slay all day because that's what I do. And I did the same thing with the bottom of my, um, or with the top of my face. But I'm also gonna use for foundation the Estee Lauder Double Wig. And it is in the shade 61, 6W1 Sandy Wood. But yeah, this primer really does look, I look glowy. Sis is glowing. Okay. So I had this during, I ordered it during Black Friday and it came recently. So it is the makeup palette that you use. You know, I be putting stuff on the back of my hand, messing my hands all up, making them dirty. And I was like, why don't you just get you a makeup palette? So I did get it from DS and D Shop. And you y'all know all of us, I have stuff coming from Black Friday. And it's like, oh, when are you gonna be here? Cyber Monday, then the sales going on in the new year, all of that. Ugh, it's so hard. I'm gonna dot the foundation on. Um, it's kind of hard to find out what my shade is. But the fives were too bright for me, just a little bit. Y'all know I go darker in a minute, even though I have been working on that. Trying to get lighter shades that match me as much as I can. Okay. But this is supposed to be matte, long wearing, everything. So you're supposed to just move it. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, this dark. This might be good for some, but it's not dark in a bad way. It's dark in a too, too deep for me. <laughs> deep. Oh. Okay. You have to be careful with this brush because it's so big. You do have to be careful going around with your brows and stuff like that. That's the only thing. You might have to go in with a brush. But I do like it. It kind of feels like a sponge. It's so soft. But it kind of feels like a sponge. Yeah, I think I messed up my brows. I was trying not to do it, and I messed it up. Yeah, this shade is looking deep. 
I'm not going to add any more. Young good. All right. I'm just going to do that. And then I'm going to fix my brow. But I do like how this feels. Stipping in there. The areas that I need a little bit more coverage. Mm -hmm. Okay, what y'all think? I definitely know that this shade is too deep for me. Um, probably, like I said, it's good for the winter, but but as far as the brush is concerned, I like how it feels. It kind of feels like a um, a sponge. That's what I like about it. As far as the coverage is concerned, I feel like my Juno and Co sponge applies more coverage, and I do have other brushes that apply more coverage, but it definitely blends out like a sponge. I do feel like the primer is causing this foundation to appear more glowy than it is because this is a matte foundation. And this primer is giving me some matte matte vibe. <laughs> so I'm gonna use a concealer. It's the um, Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer. This is the shade, I'm just flowing, number eight. Number eight. I'm not gonna cream contour because we looking deep. It's time for maintenance over this moustache. So this concealer is supposed to be like full coverage. I feel like I might have used this concealer on this channel before, but I just haven't like, I just haven't like said too much about it. I said what it was, but I, but this is a newer concealer for me. We letting it dry down and I'm gonna fix my eyebrow. All right, y'all. So this concealer is definitely matte. I'm just going over the areas just to blend and I'm tapping. I'm at a, you know, I'm just, I don't quite know what to do to blend with this type of brush, but we gonna make it work. We making it do what it is. I think it's blended. We look like we blended. I think we look like we blended. So this is definitely, like I said, a matte concealer. So as you can see, my face looks less, my face definitely looks less matte. I mean, less glowy, at which I believe is the primer because it's definitely not the Estee Lauder foundation. Um, that foundation is matte. And this concealer brought some of that mattness back, which is very full coverage. Like, I probably didn't need as much as I used. Definitely didn't need as much as I used. So what I'm doing is just going in. Although I can see this. This is cakeless. I, I don't know. I think one of the claims might be creases as well, but it's definitely not supposed to give a cakey, um, makeup -y look. I mean, it's very smoothy. So, very nice. Mmm. Yeah, it's good. So, I'm using, now, I'm using a powder y'all already seen me use before. So, this is the Milani Translucent Banana. Just so I can add some golden hues. Y'all seen me do this before. We looking real powdery right now. We looking real powdery. Okay, so I'm gonna go back. Oh, I'm gonna go back into the Natasha Denona palette and. So, I'm just going to go under with that pink shade. Mix the pink and the brown, pink and brown. Pink, pink, brown, mix them together. Yeah. And then, I feel like you could do your eyeshadow without, um, before you, I mean, after your foundation, if you want to do this. Because when I pat the brush like this, I don't, I don't see much fallout at all. 
and it's not much fallout in the pan either. So if you wanted to do your eyeshadow afterwards, especially if you're doing a simple look like this, you do not even need to worry about it. So, yeah, that's, we doing something simple today. New makeup, but simple. Okay, I had to get another brush because I didn't have a brush as precise as I needed for the contouring palette that I'm using. Okay, so I'm about to contour my face with the Crayon Case Contourization Palette. I really hope, I feel like I talked a lot. If I did, I'm sorry. <laughs> but, um, so this is the new one, okay? This is the old one. <laughs> but this is what the old one looks like. It has highlighting shades at the top and then these four colors. And I like this palette a lot. I really do, as you can see, it's yours. But look at the new one. Look at that. Ayo. Ayo. Yeah, I'm not gonna use a light shade. I'm gonna use a, a darker. I mean, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna use a dark shade. I'm gonna use a light shade because I don't want to. I, I actually might even reverse contour as well. But I think I'm gonna start with this one. I know it looks light and work my way down if it's not dark enough. But I don't want too dark because we already are deep enough. So do you wanna make sure when that happens that you ain't going too deep with your contour palette? You see that? Okay. That's not that's not too deep. So if you wanted a natural situation, I'm gonna go one shade deeper and I might even mix this one. We're gonna try it. Cause we do want a little something. Oh yeah, that's not bad at all. Very nice. It's actually kind of warm too. Ooh. I like it. I like it, okay. And I think I'm gonna go on my forehead with the lighter shade that I used, that one. And it looks definitely looks lighter because of the lights, you know. Y'all know how it goes, y'all know. I just wanted to be precise too. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of the darker shade. Just a little bit. Y'all know I like the bronze, deepen things up. I'm not even, I just put one touch, one touch, one touch. See, I'm not going nothing crazy. So, I'm gonna go in with the lighter shade right here. And I'm gonna contour my nose with it. And I'm using one of the Glow by Glory. Um, this one. Kind of like a fanned out shape. Okay. Let me try. Ooh, here we go. Yes. Ooh. And uh, ooh. Okay. For me, that, that's enough for me. Yeah. Because we don't want to go too crazy. But I like the new one. <laughs> Already, I can tell y'all like it. Because it has deeper shades as well. And that's what they needed um, in the palette. So you just can't be mad. Set my face. I'm using a brush I already used before. Y'all know. Mm, that is good. Just like the powder. Y'all, look at my contour with just the powder. This is really pretty. Like, dang. Dang. Mm. we looking snatched, and that's just powder. <laughs> okay, so next I have for you crayon case blush binder. 
And this is a beautiful, beautiful binder filled with blush, okay? And when I tell you it's a binder, it's a binder. That's the first page. Second page. Ooh. Third page of blushes, man. Of blushes. I keep looking at, at myself because I think I'm cute. So, just in case y'all don't know, I have actually seen people use this blush binder to create eyeshadow looks because of the pigmentation on this blush, okay? But we're just gonna use it for blush. And I'm going to use another brush from the Moda Metallic Set. Now, which blush should I use? Let's, let's try this one. I know it seems very simple, but let's just see what it looks like, okay? And then I can always put something on top because you can layer blushes. That's what it looks like on the brush. Y'all, I like this. I like this. This is the color I normally wouldn't go for. But it was calling my name. Oh, I like it. Okay. Come on, blush binder. Blush. I've been wanting it. I've been wanting it. Binder. It's a beautiful shade. I just want to put more. On. Let's put. Let's put more. On. Let's put more. Y'all, I really like this color. Look at that. This is gorgeous. And like, I know this is not normally a style that I would go for, but honey. I mean, not a style, but a color I would go for. And of all, like the pretty, vibrant, crazy. You're going to see those because I'm going to be doing some vibrant, crazy stuff. So, I'm going to need some vibrant, crazy blush. But, y'all, it's like you could layer it on and as much as you can, but it not go crazy. So, y'all, in a separate video, when I do like an eyeshadow look, I have magnetic lashes. I have magnetic lashes. But, for now, I'm going in with mascara. We're gonna do a separate video on magnetic lashes because I have never, and I mean never. Oh, I should've wanted to spray my face again. Sorry I keep like looking like I'm frowning. It's my eye keeps tearing up. We're going to highlight first so I'm going in with this fan brush to highlight and this is dose of colors royal hotness and I'm going in with that and I might go on top with the Fenty um me money or hustle baby one of them Hustler baby, we're gonna go in with Hustler baby. On top. Ooh. Just on top. Just on top. Ooh. Keep it going. A little hotness mixed in with this on the nose. Going into Husk of Baby. We're gonna put Husk of Baby in the inner corner. Boom, bang, bang. 
All right, so I'm going in with the Juvia's Place lip liner in the shade Cola. And I, this isn't new. New, 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 but it's new ish, you know? Now, for the lippy, I have a dose of colors. Liquid lipstick, finally. Like, finally. So I have the shade Catching Feelings. And this it comes in this beautiful frosted situation. Oh, it smells so good. Okay. We cute. Nice nude color. Oh, it's all over my teeth. All right. So this is like a really, really nice nude shade. Are we doing a gloss? <laughs> Y'all, this glow and this gloss and this beat. I mean, I would say we did the damn thing, okay? Okay, I am gonna go in with the ColourPop. Um, Raw Beauty Christy and um, yeah, ColourPop Robin Christie collection um, at Foresight. This is her lip gloss that came in with it. It's in the shade Glacier. We're going to go over top of that. All right, y'all. That is the finished look of new makeup. What do y'all think? Yes. I'm excited and it might not be new new makeup but it's new to me and I really love how smooth my face looks I think my the primer did a great job at smoothing out my face I mean I have a lot I have bumps y'all can see I have bumps and you know things going on but for the most part my face looks very very smooth and I love that so much I love it um the eyeshadows blended beautifully so easy to work with easy for a, a get it together quick situation I love the eyeshadows I love the um concealer it was very full coverage I didn't need as much as I did have and if you have dry skin I would say that you don't even have to set um you, you don't have to set the concealer at all it's very matte so um I feel like also that the primer dried down too to you know give me more of a soft matte finish um or either that or the foundation kicked in the matteness because at first we were giving glowy vibes but then as it settled it's you know that matteness started to come through but because of the primer it's giving more of a soft matte feel which I like because I like skin like um but the concealer just moved beautifully I love it the contour pal palette is like A1 I just like, like, look at me. We have a fully blended situation. And if you don't want to cream contour, do all that. You can slap that contour palette on. I didn't even bronze. It's contour. But it's warm enough to kind of pass for both. So, I love that. The nose contour shade is beautiful, beautiful. Um, What else? The blush. I'm, like, freaking in love with the blush shade. Like, I'm not normally a pinky type of person, but <laughs> y'all, I feel like we need some more. That's the only thing. I need them to make. There we go. It's so pretty. It's just so pretty. It's simple, like, skin-like. I love the blush. Beautiful, pigmented, um, but not overly pigmented. You can calm it down. It blends right in with everything that you have going on very very beautiful so i'm a fan and i can't wait to use the rest of the shades like 110 percent um the brushes i do like the brushes the only thing is with the bigness of the foundation brush it's hard to maneuver if you do um you know put your eyebrows on first um so that's one of the the cons to that but it blends out beautifully very easy to blend um i did notice some spots that i you know didn't blend out so i was able to go back and you know touch those up um, but I, I like the brushes, man. They, you know, I could see using them again, 100%. Uh, the Glow by Glory brushes as well. Uh, the Glow by Glory brushes, these are the two that I didn't use, but 
first of all, they're aesthetically pleasing, but second of all, they did their job. They work great as eyeshadow brushes. They blended like super, super easy, fast between the eyeshadow and the blend of the beautiful brushes. Like it was given. So I love the lippy. The lippy is doing what it did. Okay. Um, yeah, I just like everything. I, I rarely have a bad thing to say about some things, but if I do, I'll let you know, you know. All of these products so far look great. I want to test out this um, primer to see. It smells really good. It kind of smells like something from my kid childhood. It's sweet, but it smells like... It's sweet, and it smells like something from my childhood. <laughs> I don't know what, but something kiddish kiddish makeup kiddish something i don't know but yeah it's sweet but i want to test this out see how it works all day long especially with oily skin how does it work with a mask all of that so but everything was a success and i really liked it yeah i love the lip gloss lippy lip gloss okay Anyways, I just think I'm cute now, so we're going to get off before I irritate you guys. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Look forward for more in 2021. It's my birthday month, y'all. January 19th, okay? So, yeah. Get ready for the turn up. Okay, because it's about to be real. <laughs> Anyways, thank y'all so much for watching. I appreciate you guys, and I just hope you subscribe and take time to see the more that is coming in 2021 baby okay all right y'all love you guys and i'll see you next time bye